Seating arrangements at the Queen's funeral have kept people talking, and some viewers have noticed something interesting about Sarah Ferguson's spot at the ceremony. Anticipation has been building for Queen Elizabeth II's funeral, and the historical day has finally come. On September 19th, esteemed guests from across the globe gathered to mourn the late monarch, who died at age 96 on September 8th. Even though she's been MIA following the Queen's death, Sarah Ferguson, also known as Fergie, wouldn't miss her former mother-in-law's funeral for the world. Ferguson was welcomed into the royal family as Duchess of York when she married Prince Andrew in 1986. The couple had two daughters, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie. However, Ferguson and Prince Andrew got divorced in 1996, yet remained close over subsequent years. At a 2013 Children's Literature Festival appearance, Ferguson said, We really believe in being good parents for our girls. In our every day, we really respect each other and we honor each other. We are a really solid, beautiful family and, and that's really it. So now Ferguson joins her ex-husband in honoring Queen Elizabeth II, who clearly had a major impact on her. Of course, the funeral seating arrangements have garnered much speculation, with Ferguson's spot at the royal gathering being no exception. Royal expert Shannon Felton Spence previously told Fox News, She'll be at the funeral, but where she will be sitting will be interesting. She's not an official member of the royal family anymore, so I don't think she'll be sitting next to Andrew. Was Spencer's prediction accurate? Ferguson sat in the second row between her daughter, Princess Eugenie, and Queen Elizabeth II's nephew, David Armstrong Jones, second Earl of Snowdon. She was seated across the aisle from Prince Andrew and right behind Kate Middleton. Fans shared their reactions to Ferguson's funeral appearance on Twitter. One user remarked, I haven't seen Sarah Ferguson during all this. Thought she'd be there even if not in the front rows. Another user tweeted, Impressed that Sarah Ferguson bagged a second row seat. Another person wrote, I am really glad to see Sarah Ferguson at Westminster Abbey. She deserved to be there. The Queen always liked her. With all the talk about her, one question remains. How did Ferguson, who is no longer married to Prince Andrew, get such a close seat? During a 2021 appearance on the Tea with Twiggy podcast, Ferguson said Queen Elizabeth II was her greatest mentor and someone who believed in her. Ferguson revealed, I think to myself that, honestly, my mother-in-law has been more of a mother to me than my mother. Prior to her fatal car accident in 1998, Ferguson's mother, Susan Barantes, abandoned her family to live in Argentina with a new husband. On the podcast, Ferguson continued, I absolutely admire the incredible way Her Majesty is so modern, and how flexible and how understanding, and how forgiving and how generous. Following Queen Elizabeth II's death, Ferguson took to Twitter to commemorate her beloved mother-in-law. In one tweet, she wrote, She leaves behind an extraordinary legacy, the most fantastic example of duty and service and steadfastness, and a constant steadying presence as our head of state for more than 70 years. In another tweet, Ferguson made her relationship with the late monarch crystal clear, sharing, to me, she was the most incredible mother-in-law and friend. I will always be grateful to her for the generosity she showed me in remaining close to me even after my divorce. Now that Queen Elizabeth II has passed away, what does Sarah Ferguson's future hold? Well, it doesn't seem like she'll be cutting ties with the royal family anytime soon. In fact, she still resides with Prince Andrew at the Royal Lodge in Windsor. According to The Independent, Ferguson called them the happiest divorced couple in the world. And in light of Prince Andrew's sexual assault allegations, she has remained supportive of her ex-husband. Ferguson and Prince Andrew are commemorating the Queen in a special way. The Guardian revealed that the former couple will be responsible for the care of the late monarch's corgis, Mick and Sandy. The Queen was recognized for her love of her dogs, and according to The Telegraph, an insider shared, the Duchess bonded with Her Majesty over dog walking and riding horses, and even after her divorce, she would continue her great friendship with Her Majesty by walking the dogs in Frogmore and chatting.